Because we are changing East Bay trying to wake up people at the tea party. Wait, so you're kicking me out of here for for using my First Amendment? Looks like this. It's upside down. For what? I mean, do I have to leave now? I expressed to you that there was a free okay, speech Okay, I'll go to the free speech area, but, you know, this is fascism. This is how much You're exhibiting powers of fascism, sir. You're being a fascist. I mean, you, you, I mean, well, you sound like a fascist. You're saying that free speech is okay for only a select few. That's fascism. It's not okay for me to express my free speech, so therefore you're a fascist. Right? I can't express my free speech. You're banning me from participating in the protest against big government and government-ran health care. No, I'm providing you a free speech location. Oh, so I'm being kicked off the premises. No, so these people all. are not having the rights to freedom of speech, right? Wait, hey. These people have the same rights I have, but I have to leave. Yes, go ahead, just step around the sign. So I don't have the same rights as these people? Don't I, don't, I don't have the same rights as the rest of the American people to be here? Is that what you're telling me, sir? No, I'm telling you we have a free speech location. This is a free speech event, sir. Is it not? Is this not a free speech event, sir? Is this not a free speech event, sir? Apparently it isn't. So we're getting uh, evicted. This is no longer America. This is the fascist state of California. Uh, we're being threatened with arrest for using our First Amendment right by the co-opted Tea Party that Ron Paul started in 2007. Sarah Palin hijacked it and now all these neocons think they run the show when it's all about paleoconservatism. True conservatism. True liberty. True freedom. But this fascist here, Mr. Event Staff, decided that my right to freedom of speech should be revoked and that I should not be able to be free to speak my mind. Therefore, this gentleman is a fascist, just like Hitler, just like Mussolini, just like Obama. Obama even wants freedom of speech to be removed, just like this guy. So your false left-right paradigm is a joke. This is the fascist state of California. Sorry, All right, man. so we're heading over to the free speech zone. Way far away from this event. Um, looks like he's taking us on to the sidewalk or the front of the street. I don't know where, where he's taking us. Okay, we do have a cordon area over here for you. It's free speech. If you what like about the those. street? I could go on the street, right? We're about 100 yards from the event now. Okay. Hey. And that's the free speech zone. Yeah, isn't that interesting? That just hit the nerve, man. They had that during the Bush administration. Yeah. Hey! My car's over there. I gotta go move my car now. Well. I gotta go move my car. It's over there. Why didn't you mention that before? Because I didn't know where you are taking me. I thought you were trying to take me away to get me arrested or something. No, I'm giving you an opportunity for free speech. So this is not a free speech event? I'm giving you an opportunity for free speech right over here. I can't express my free speech in the Tea Party? That is part of the Tea Party right there. It is? Yes. Then how come they can't come in? Are they kicked out too? No, anybody can go over there if they want. Why can't we come in here? Where are you parked? I'm parked way down there, man. You want to walk with me or what? Have a nice walk. Fascist. No better than the Nazis, man. Hope you enjoy yourself. Destroying America just like Obama is. Oh, kicked out of the fascist movement by Vince Staff. Ron Paul is the true Republican. Sure. Uh, they shut down my right to freedom of speech. They said that I couldn't have a Sarah Palin looking like a vampire and Obama with fascism under it. Yeah. Well, something along those lines. They pretty much were offended by my sign. So they told me to leave and go to the quote-unquote free speech area. 
So, whatever that means, I guess we're in Nazi Germany. <laughs> Yeah, this is, uh, I mean, I don't know if you know about the Tenth Amendment. Yeah, of course. Good. Because we need that to... I also vote for one, also. Oh, right on, man. You're a good, you're a good patriot, sir. You're a very good patriot. Take care. Hey, hey, make sure you tell all your Ron Paul friends that the neocons kicked us out. Kicked out by the neocons. Well, at least we were there for about 20 minutes. Well, this is Manny from We Are Change East Bay. Welcome to fascism. This is no longer a republic of liberty and freedom. If you are not a neocon and you are a paleoconservative who believes in Ron Paul, limited government, elimination of the Federal Reserve, going back to the gold standard, you're not welcome here. You are not welcome here. If you're against big government spending, they're going to kick you out. We got kicked out because we were not holding the proper sign. So I hope you enjoyed that. And the battle for liberty rages on. Fascism will fail. The neocon base will fail. Paleoconservatives will prevail. True liberty, true freedom is what we're about. Go Ron Paul. Go Rand Paul. Let's get Pelosi out of office and get John Dennis in there. True libertarian. True man. Cool, thanks. See that? Everyone's loving my sign. All these people that walk by, they smile. They're happy. They love Ron Paul. But the uh, neocon base hates us. But whatever. This is America. My Führer. Steiner, Steiner konnte nicht genügend Kräfte für einen Angriff massieren. Es bleiben im Raum Keitel, Jodel, Krebs und Butter. Das war ein Befehl! Der Angriff Steiners war ein Befehl! Versicht Sie, dass wir sagen, Sie seien befähigt, so wie es sein muss! Oh, weit ist das einfach gekommen. Ist nicht 2000 Haufen niederträchtiger, treuloser Feiglinge! Mein Führer, ich kann nicht zulassen, dass die Soldaten, die für Sie verbringen... Ist das Feiglinge! Verreißheit, Versager! Mein Führer, was Sie da sagen, ist ungeheuerlich! Die Generalität ist das Geschmeiß des deutschen Volkes. Sie Jahre auf Militärakademien zugebracht haben, nur um zu lernen, wie man Messer und Gabel hält. Jahrelang hat das Militär meine Aktionen nur behindert. Es hat mich gegen nur als menschlichen Widerstand in den Weg gelegt. Ich hätte gut daran getan, von Jahren alle höheren Offiziere registrieren zu lassen, wie Stalin. Und doch habe ich allein, allein auf mich bestellt. Es wurde ein ungeheurer Verrat geübt am deutschen Volke. Aber alle dieser Verräter werden bezahlen. Mit ihrem eigenen Blut werden sie bezahlen. Sie werden saufen in ihrem eigenen Blut. Bitte gerne. Jetzt beruhig dich doch. Meine Befehle sind in den Wind gesprochen. Es ist unmöglich unter diesen Leuten. Es ist aus. Der Krieg ist verloren. Aber wenn Sie, meine Herren, glauben, dass ich deswegen Berlin verlasse, irren Sie sich gewaltig. Er, ja.